Okay, so I keep making and remaking videos. I am not remaking this video again, so I'm going to talk quickly. I'm going to pick the key points that I want to say, and I'm going to finish up because apparently my camera doesn't take that long of movies. So this is a challenge from a place called myscraproom.ning.com. It's on the bottom there. And this was the list of the requirements for the challenge. It was a float for, um, like, the California Rose Parade, kind of took after that, with a theme of Dr. Seuss's book, All the Places You'll Go, uh, focusing on destination and career. So this is a stay-at-home mom whose destination is to just get five minutes in the bathroom alone without anybody interrupting her. So, <laughs> moving on. This is my title. And it says, just five more minutes, honey. And it says, Calgon, take me away. I'm not sure who remembers that. But um, I had to add this little string here. Because it was kind of flapping in the wind. And yeah, it didn't look real cool. So, some of the things that I wanted to point out. I added this after the fact, after I already posted it. I added this little tiny book that I made. I thought that was kind of a cute little touch. She's, you know, reading her little romance novel in the bathtub. The hardest thing about it um, was getting this little wire to stay where it is because that's the shower wire. So I sneakily glued this piece of the shower to the side of this box. And you can't really hardly see it, but it's glued so that that wire will stay in the air. Um, the other really exciting fun piece that I thought was I super love these little beads as the knobs for the water. I thought that was a cool idea. I saw someone else do that on YouTube. Um, I'm sorry I can't give credit for that, who it was. But um, this, this shelf also was not totally my idea. I did create it completely on my own just finagling with some scrap paper I had. But these are little beads that were buttons that made the drawer and I got that like idea set up from YouTube and then the mirror I created on my own because I couldn't find something for that. And all the requirements um, are on here. The title, the flowers, um, you know, encompassing the theme. There's some more flowers on the front. I put on a lot of ribbon. I thought those are really, really pretty. Um, let's see, the wheels, yeah, I had the wheels, my base is large enough, it had to be, uh, no smaller than 9 by 6 inches, and I think mine is, like, 6 by 10, or 6 and a half by 10, or something like that, and it is a cigar box, so, uh, without this, it will totally open and shut, and, uh, I will probably, maybe, I don't know, get rid of that when I don't need it for the challenge anymore or anything, and make it usable, kind of like a jewelry box, so, I have flowers, cray paper is visible, it's right here, something that re represents wheels I have, I follow the theme, I have the bo uh, the base and my title, and the last thing is the seeds. And I wondered if anyone even noticed where my seeds were, <laughs> because I was totally stumped on the seeds and I was really kind of upset that I had to go out and buy seeds because I thought what will I use them for in the future. And um, this is one of the reasons why I love doing these challenges because they're things that you would not normally have or use or maybe not think of using. And I will probably use these again in the future. So thanks, Gina, for this really cool idea because look what happened. Um, I said, you know, I tromped around the house. Where am I going to get seeds? Blah, blah, blah. My husband's like, um, we have flax seeds in the cupboard. So he took them out. And I'm going to see if I can get close enough. But this bath mat and this towel are actually seeds. Can you see them? I did some spray adhesive on the shape that I wanted and stuck the seeds down and they wouldn't totally stay so then I mod podged them and then I adjusted them over the top and they turned out so cool. It looks like one of those fluffy, fuzzy, like white bath mats that you, you know, you never buy because they get so filthy dirty anyway but on a project it's forever white so you can do that kind of stuff. I don't know. I just think it's really cool. I kind of, I did start out one last thing was, you see the shower head? I totally created that shower head of paper and I painted it and gosh you can't see the underneath side but check out my check out my photos um, I have them on Jen's Borrowed, Borrowed Art 
www.blogspot.com Jen's Borrowed Art .blogspot.com I have pictures on there I also have pictures on the Ning site um, where you can see that really close up but I was super proud of that because I created that from paper and paint and a glue gun and some cat whisker type things and yeah it looks like real water coming out really cool so I'm super proud of that and that is my project so and now that I've got you know the heebie-jeebies out of the way from talking on the camera because we all say that we're terrified of that I'm going to get on to that next video which is going to be my haul from let's see I went to Target today and the Goodwill that's just up the hill so yes stay tuned come back for more um, definitely subscribe if you like seeing this type of art project because I'll be doing more and I'll see y'all later